What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video today. I'm going to be breaking down the uh, UCF Invitational Meet that just went by this past weekend. I ran the 4x1 and the 100 both on the same day. And yeah, I'll just get straight into it. So on the screen right now, we got the 4x1. And I think I'm right here, lane 6. I'm just going to play the video once so you guys can watch it and then I'll break it down. Send speed getting out. Ave Maria, Tampa, West Point, Water, Slagler, and Florida College. Uh, West Point running. Also, I don't know why, but the videos, they're kind of blurry when I transferred it to the computer. But I, I don't know why it's like that. It's not, it's pretty clear on my phone. So sorry about that. Also, there's a bunch of people kind of in the way. And let's give it up to our Army West Point cadets. Nicely done. Pulling away to win heat number two. West Point. All right, so we ended up doing pretty bad. We ran slower than last week, even though last week we did bad too. But this week we ran 43-1. And I'm not going to talk too much about it. We made mistakes as a group, um, you know, warming up. We could have been more collective, more like as a team. But other than that, I'm just going to talk about my part and my exchange. So I'm in lane six right here in the white, kind of hard to tell. But I start out pretty well. Ave Maria. And... My goal was to like try to make up the stagger, but obviously you guys know four by one bigger stagger. It's a little hard, but I think I made up a little bit of ground Tampa here, Point, Water, Swagler, and, Florida, and then I'm starting to like reel them in a little bit more there. Like even though you guys can't even see me anymore, but uh, for my exchange, well. for my exchange to Caden, um. Caden, he came out pretty late. I think our mark, we we brought our mark back from last week. It was a good mark, Holly. but with him coming out late, I had to uh, slow down to give him the baton, well. and I kind of like slipped up again. Also in the mix. Go, Caden! Caden was running good. pretty well. Go, Can't really see any exchanges, so there's not much to break down. And let's give it up to our Army West Point cadets. Nicely done. Pulling away to win heat number two. Sam making up a little bit of ground West there, Point. but it just wasn't enough. I mean, we didn't put him in a good spot at all. So that's on us. Um, you know, it is what it is. Obviously, like, I know we could run a lot faster, and I think we are going to run a lot faster this Saturday. But... Um, can't really beat ourselves too up because you know for a four by one it's not really about just the speed it's also like the execution making sure your handles are sharp all that and i just think at this current moment it's not the sharpest but with more practice and more experience racing it will be because this is a new team i mean we we're all freshmen we come in from like different high schools like you know so for some run together so it's not the biggest deal also, one of our legs is a little injured, or and at this point in time, he was a little injured. Now he's fully injured, recovering right now, so we're running an alternate this week. So that could have affected our time, maybe, but mostly I think it was just exchanges. Also, um, for this week, we're going to try it. I'm, we're switching me and Caden. I'm going to be running second leg. He's going to run first because I just don't really feel like I'm running... Well, I don't feel like I'm able to run full speed on the curve. So we're going to switch that, see how it goes. And yeah. But that was the 4x1. I'm trying to keep it quick. Wait. And then... Here's the 100 meter dash. I'm right here, lane 4. Um, 
this was like later in the day like there was probably four hours in between four by one and hundred but I'll play the race real quick Look like Ryan Sen of Flagler. All right, so 100 meter. Uh, I ended up running pretty slow time. It was 11.25. But the thing was, there was a massive headwind. It was like negative 2.2. And just because I'm curious, I ended up using this website to try to convert like what my time would be if there was no wind. So let me show y'all. Uh, I use this website. Obviously, this isn't accurate. This is just like a pure guess or a pure estimate, I mean. So I ran 11.25, and the wind speed was negative 2.2 headwind. Altitude, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to put zero. And when I correct it, it ends up being 11.07. So my PR right now is 11.08, so that would be a PR if this is correct, but it probably isn't. But obviously this is just an assumption. I felt like it was really fast. Like when I saw the time, because they're pu putting up the times at the end, I was shocked. I was like, there's no way that was 11.2 because I felt like I was moving. But obviously the headwind makes a difference, you know. Unfortunate, but... I'm running the 100 again this weekend, so hopefully I get a little bit luckier with the wind and hopefully I could drop a better time. Because it felt good. I mean, it will, I'll go over it right now. So for starters, you know, I felt uncomfortable in my set. Like, I felt like it was he was doing this for all the heats, so it's no excuse. But it was kind of a long set, a little longer than past meets. Nothing crazy, just a little bit uncomfortable. Um, one thing about my start is I feel like, you can't really tell, but I feel like I was kind of landing flat-footed and I wasn't pushing well. Like I wasn't staying on the balls of my feet and really driving and pushing through. It kind of felt like my heels were touching and it kind of forced me to raise upwards a little bit here. And I wanted to be in my drive phase longer than that, but, like, again, like, I think my angles are just wrong, so it just kind of made me come up. Um, start, I want to say we're pretty even with the fields. I think this guy, lane one from Yale, he looks like he's ahead. But other than that, I think I'm even with everybody, except, except this guy. I don't know what happened with him, but he was way behind. He pretty much wasn't even in the race. But right here, right here is when I'll, I could see this guy, he's in front of me. And it, right here is when I just like, I hit another gear here. And part of it's definitely the camera angle. It makes me look like I made up ground. Well, I, I did make up ground, but it makes it look like crazier than it was. But I definitely hit another gear and I caught up to him. And I want to say he's like either slightly ahead or we're neck neck at this point. And then lean at the line. Um, I wasn't sure if I beat him or not. So I look over to see if I beat him or not. And I had no idea because it was actually a very Looks tight like race. Line, of Flagler at a lane four. And I heard the announcer call my name. So I thought I won. But it turns out I didn't win. I ended up losing to that kid by 0 .05. So pretty close race. I mean, he won, but it was very, very close. And the weird thing about this race is I feel like it was, it was odd to me because normally, like, when I run... 100 normally my first half of the race is stronger than my second half like I just have a pretty good start and then my top speed could just use work but I feel like it was opposite like I think my start was it was it was good but it wasn't like at my best 
bad shin angles forced me to raise up. And then I just start like really digging deep right here. Like you could almost you could almost visually see like when I just start to reaccelerate. And I'm just pumping all the way to the line, like trying my hardest to catch up to that guy. And I did a little bit but not I didn't win, so But yeah, it was interesting. The only thing if like I want to fix for this week, because I'm running the 100 this week, is my angles. I don't know why I was landing the way I, like, I don't know why I was landing flat-footed, but it just happened, you know, you can't, you're not going to be perfect every single time you run. But I normally don't do that, so hopefully I just run better, or I just fix that for this week. And other than that, I want to stay in my drive phase longer. Like, I'm starting to raise up here. One thing I did do good is I was patient. I didn't, like, pop up instantly like last week. I was patient with the rise up. So that was good. I want to do that again. But I just want to drive for longer and really be powerful, really build power so that I could have a better top speed, better acceleration, all that. And hopefully don't get a negative 2.2 headwinds. But yeah, overall, I felt like it was a very strong race. Obviously, you know, what wasn't like one of my fastest times, but when you when you consider the wind, it was pretty good. And yeah, leave it off with that. I mean, pretty good race. Going to come back strong this week at um, Embry-Riddle, Daytona, and... Hopefully, I could finally get under 11 seconds. I really think I can. Like, I really think I can, especially if I get any type of tailwind, like anything. I definitely will. But, you know, you never know until you do it, so we'll see. I'm running, obviously, the 100. I'm running the 100. I'm running the 200. Both of these on Friday. And then on Saturday, I'm running, or we're running, 4x1. And I'm on the 4x4 this week. We're running like... It's the it's like an kind of like a backup 4x4 as the A squad. It's me. It's me, Ian, Malik, Houston. Houston's the only one who's on like the legitimate squad. Just to give us a run. And yeah, we'll see how that all goes. I think... I'm feeling good about this meet though. Like this run, like this 100 actually gave me confidence. Because just how I felt running it. It just felt fast, so... And there was room for improvement with my beginning of the race. So hopefully I do my thing this weekend. I get in the tens um, and all that. And yeah, that's how my meet went at UCF. Also to touch like a little bit, you know, I had a lot of fun at this meet. Like if you guys don't know, I'm from, uh, I'm not going to say exactly where I'm from, but I'm in the same county as UCF. So it kind of felt good to like run close to home and all that and run in front of my family. Like I haven't raced in front of my family in a while. So that was cool. Everyone was there besides my mom, but my mom's going to be there this weekend. And yeah, it was cool to just have that feeling to perform with like my dad and my brother and my other brother watching and just have a good time you know it wasn't it, you know sometimes track isn't always about how you perform and all that you also have to have fun with it so i had fun this weekend and yeah that'll be the end of the video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace